Hello friends, now we will discuss about the shapes of molecules according to VAC pair rule. First of all, what is VSEPR? The full form is valence shell electron pair repulsion valence shell electron pair repulsion now according to this rule we can predict the shape of the molecules like that first of all we write the formula the formula is that h equal to half into v plus x minus c plus a now h is state of hybridization v is number of electrons in valence shell x number of monovalent atoms c charge of cation a charge of anion another formula is to find the number of lone pair electrons if l is the number of lone pair electrons then l equal to h minus x minus d where l number of lone pair electron d is number of divalent atoms using these two formula we can predict the shape of molecules easily let us discuss about the shape of some molecules first of all b e c l 2 beryllium dichloride here the central atom is beryllium and beryllium has two electron in its valence shell so h is equal to 2 in case of v we write 2 and number of monovalent atom that is x is equal to Two cationic charge and anionic charge both are zero, so H equal to two, and L that is number of lone pair electron is equal to H minus X minus D. D is absent here, that is D is zero. H is two and x is 2 so l is 0 that means 
no lone pair electron is present in beryllium dichloride. Since the number of hybridized orbital is 2, to minimize the repulsion between electron pair, the two hybridized orbital in beryllium, that is, since H is 2, the hybridization is sp hybridization. So, the shape of beryllium dichloride is 180 degree and the shape of beryllium dichloride is linear and the bond angle is 180 degree. Mind it, if there is two hybridized orbital to minimize the repulsion between two hybridized orbitals, the angle between two hybridized orbital must be 180 degree. This is pure geometry. So, shape of BCl2 is 180 degree. Let us consider another example BF3. Here, H is equal to half into V. V is 3 because boron contain 3 electrons in its outermost shell. X that is monovalent atom is 3. Cationic charge and anionic charge are absent. So, H equal to 3 that means the hybridization is sp2. Hybridization is sp2 and lone pair electron that is L equal to H minus X minus D that is 3 minus 3 D is absent. Now the hybridized orbitals here is 3 and to minimize the repulsion between 3 hybridized orbitals they are directed along the 3 corners of an equilateral triangle and the shape of the molecule is planar trigonal. The bond angle is one. 20 degree shape is shape is planar trigonal here the hybridized orbital is 3 so the shape of the molecule is planar trigonal because to minimize the repulsion between three hybridized orbitals they are directed along the three corners of an equilateral triangle. Now let us consider another example. It is CH4. In case of CH4, H is equal to half into V is 4 because 4 electrons are present in the outermost shell of carbon. Number of monovalent atom is 4. So it is equal to 4. And 4 means the hybridization is sp3. Lone pair electron L is equal to H. Sorry. Lone pair electron L is equal to H minus X minus D that is 4 minus 4 D is 0. So lone pair electron is 0. And to minimize the repulsion between 4 sp3 hybridized orbitals, they are directed along the corner of a tetrahedral. Mind it. These bonds are not linear, they are bent. The four hydrogen atoms are present at the four corners of the tetrahedral.
the bond angle is 109 degree and 28 minutes since the number of hybridized orbital is 4 to minimize the repulsion they are directed along the four corners of a tetrahedral and the shape of the molecule is tetrahedral shape is tetrahedral let us consider another molecule which is pcl5 in case of pcl5 h is equal to half into v is 5 because 5 electrons are present at the valence shell of phosphorus 5 monovalent atoms are present so h is equal to 5 that means the hybridization is sp3d and number of lone pair electron is equal to l and it is l is equal to h minus x minus d d is absent so l is 0 and to minimize the repulsion between uh, between 5 sp3 hybridized orbital they are directed along the five corners of trigonal bipyramid where at the central position phosphorus atoms are there each phosphorus is linked with 5 chlorine like that and the shape of the molecule is trigonal bipyramid there are two bond angles here it is called equilateral bond angle and the equilateral bond angle is 120 degree and there is axial bond angle which is 90 degree shape is trigonal bipyramid another case which is sf6 in case of sf6 the hybridization is h equal to half into 6 plus 6 that is 6 because in case of sulfur valence shell contains 6 electrons the hybridization is sp3 d2 lone pair electron l is equal to h minus x minus d h is 6 x is 6 so lone pair electron is 0 and to minimize the repulsion between 6 hybridized orbital they are directed along the 6 corner of an octahedral like that the base is square and along the six corners of octahedral six fluorine atoms are there so the shape of the molecule is octahedral that's all about vscpa rule thank you for testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos log on to www.tubelessons.net